Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 17, 2 Kings 6 through 25, From a Floating Axe to Babylonian Captivity. In 2 Kings 6, how did Elisha know the axe would float? What would it be like if we could see God's angels about us? How depraved had Samaria gotten in the siege? Why was the king so angry with Elisha? In 2 Kings 7, how did God deliver Samaria? What do we want God to deliver us from? In 2 Kings 8, what happened to the Shunammite woman? What prophecy got Elisha so upset? What kind of men were Jehoram and Ahaziah king of Judah? In 2 Kings 9, how was Jehu anointed king of Israel? How was the prophecy about Jezebel fulfilled? In 2 Kings 10, why did Ahab's reign come to such a gruesome end? Is this a picture of the eternity that the incorrigible wicked face? What did Jehu do to the prophets of Baal? What did their temple become? What did Jehu fail to do? In 2 Kings 11, how cruel was Athaliah, queen of Judah? How did Jehoiada, the prince, install Joash as king in Athaliah's place? What reforms did Jehoiada make in Judah? In 2 Kings 12, what kind of king was Joash? Who was his advisor? What would happen today if national leaders had righteous Christian leaders as advisors? Nearly 7% of America's first Congress was ordained ministers, compared to less than 1% today. The first Speaker of the House of Representatives was a Lutheran minister. In 2 Kings 13, what kind of king was Jehoahaz in Israel? After God repeatedly rescued Israel, what did Jehoahaz do? Was his son Jehoash also an evil king? What was Elisha's final prophecy to Jehoash? What happened to the body of a dead Israelite man? Why was God merciful to Israel despite their sins? In 2 Kings 14, why was Amaziah only a partially good king of Judah? Why was he merciful to the children of his father's assassins? Who won the civil war between Israel and Judah? Uzziah became king of Judah, and Jeroboam II became another evil king of Israel. In 2 Kings 15, why was Uzzah only a partially good king? The next evil kings in Israel were Zechariah, Shalom, Menachem, you may remember Menachem Begin, 6th Prime Minister of Israel, Pekahiah, and Pekah. Jotham was a partially good king in Judah. In 2 Kings 16, Ahaz became a bad king in Judah. Why was he so evil? Instead of looking to God to rescue Judah from the armies of Israel and Aram, what did he do? How did he desecrate the temple? In 2 Kings 17, evil King Hosea ruled in Israel. What was the reason given for Israel's defeat by Assyria? What did the king of Assyria do with the land after Israel's deportation? What happened to them because they did not worship the one true God? What happened? Does the word syncretism apply to their worship? In 2 Kings 18, how was Hezekiah king of Judah like David? How did Zennacherib, king of Assyria, threaten Judah? In 2 Kings 19, what did Hezekiah do? What did God say through Isaiah? How ought this to encourage us to trust God, despite overwhelming threats from our own Assyrian kings? In 2 Kings 20, how did God answer Hezekiah's prayer not to die? Can God also give us a longer life if we ask him? In 2 Kings 21, first Manasseh and then Ammon became kings of Judah. What kind of kings were they? In 2 Kings 22, what kind of king of Judah was Josiah? Who was he compared to? What did he rebuild? What did Hilkiah find in the temple? What did Josiah do? How did God bless him despite the sins of the people? In 2 Kings 23, what reforms did Josiah do? What feast of the Lord did he reinstitute? What kind of king was his son Jehoahaz? What happened to him? What kind of king was his brother Jehoiakim? In 2 Kings 24, what happened during Jehoiakim's reign? What kind of king was Jehoiakim his son?
What happened to Israel during Jehoiakim's reign? Meanwhile, what kind of king was Zedekiah of Judah? In 2 Kings 25, what did Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, do? Who only was left in Judah? What happened to the temple and to Jehoiakim? Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you.